Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to boot from a live Linux USB device in VirtualBox. So let's get started. As there is no direct way to instruct our virtual machines to boot from a USB device, we need to use a boot manager that is capable of booting USB devices. So the first step is to go and get one of those. So I'm just going to open up a web browser and head on over to www.plop.at forward slash en forward slash plop kexec.html and just scroll down the page to the download section and I'm going to download plopkexec.iso. Okay, so the next step is to open up VirtualBox. And what I like to do to keep everything separated is to create a new virtual machine with the sole purpose of booting USB devices. So I'm just going to click on new and I'm going to call it USB boot. And for the type, let's select Linux and other Linux 64-bit and click next. Now I'm going to set, I don't know, probably a gig of RAM for our, for this virtual machine. That should be fine. We can always adjust this later on. So I'll just click next now. And yes, we want to create a new virtual hard disk. So click create. Uh, VDI image is fine. Click next. And I'm going to select fixed size for that disk and click next. And I want to select the smallest size possible, which is four megabytes, as we're not going to actually install anything onto this disk, but VirtualBox needs us to have one. So four megabytes is fine and click create. Okay, now we've got our virtual machine created. The next step is to load our plop kexec ISO. So click on storage in your virtual machines hardware settings. And in the storage tree, click empty. And in attributes, click the drop down and click choose a virtual CD stroke DVD disk file. Now navigate to your plop kexec ISO file and click open and then click OK. So that's all set up now. The next step is to make sure that we have our USB device that we want to boot from plugged into our host machine. And we're going to scroll down to the USB hardware settings and make sure that enable USB controller is ticked and you can enable the USB 2.0 controller as well. So we need to set up a new USB device filter so we're going to click on this icon over here to add a new filter. Now if you don't get a list that looks like this of USB devices that are plugged into your host machine, the chances are you haven't actually installed the VirtualBox extension pack. So if you haven't do that, I recommend you check out the tutorial that I did on that. I'll throw the link in the description and put an annotation on the page now. But if you do have a populated list, you need to find the USB device that you want to boot from. So mine is this Lexar jump drive. So I'm going to click on that and click OK. So now that we're ready to go, I'm just going to click start to boot up this virtual machine. And as you can see, we've got this menu here. Now these menu items are items that are actually on my USB key. So I'm just going to click try Ubuntu without installing and hit enter. and wait for this USB key to boot up. Okay, so as you can see, our USB key has booted up. And as you can see over here, our plop K exec ISO is actually mounted within this virtual machine. And that's basically it. That's how to boot up a USB key inside of a virtual machine. So I'm just going to close this down now. Okay, so you could also do this without creating a new virtual machine by selecting an existing one, scrolling down to storage in the hardware settings, and then the same approach again. So select empty in the storage tree, and then choose your plopk exec ISO file and open that and click OK. And then scroll down to USB, set up a USB filter in exactly the same way that we did it. Um, the reason why I don't like to do it in that way 
and to actually set up a separate virtual machine is I can keep it separate um, if I have these other virtual machines booted and I'm doing something I don't need to power those down and then go through all of those steps and boot it that way um, I could also install the boot manager into a virtual machine because there is a fully fledged Linux ISO for that which is plop Linux um, the reason why I don't do that is I don't need to I can just download the boot manager which is all that I need which is only one and a half megabytes roughly and just do it this way so that's brought us to the end of this tutorial I hope you found it useful if you did, please don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow Linux Leech on Google+, Facebook and Twitter. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.